Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been a little bit absent lately, but at the end of wedding season, the beginning of school year, and the fall weather, it's honestly keeping up. <laughs> I'm working on that editing list, and that has been such a big priority lately. So today you're gonna come with me. I have a portrait shoot down in Vancouver, and I am gonna walk you through all my getting ready, including like what I'm gonna wear, why I'm gonna choose it, um, to pack in my bag, and I'm gonna bring you along with me. You're gonna see a little bit of behind the scenes, kind of what I'm shooting, and I'm gonna talk you through a little bit as we go. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate. I am a wedding and portrait photographer turned photography and business coach, and I'm teaching you all my ways, all my secrets, kind of everything I do, why I do it, how to kind of evolve your business every weekish. As soon as I have a few minutes to be here, I am here with you all the time. I really appreciate you being here. So if you haven't already, I would love if you hit that subscribe button and come back with me every time I'm here. And I will just walk you through everything I'm doing. So today we are in the thick of fall. It's a beautiful day, but it's freezing out there. So that's going to kind of dictate what I'm going to wear because I don't know about you, but as a photographer, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm photographing, whether I'm in a field photographing a family or I'm at a wedding, I I find it really, really hard to choose what to wear because not only do you have to be professional, but you have to be understated against who you're going to be around, right? So for weddings, for instance, you've got to dress appropriately. You've got to be, as far as I'm concerned, a little bit formal, but also you can't be dressed that you're then mistaken as a guest. So same thing with branding and portraits is depending on who I'm photographing, what their business is, I kind of try to tailor what I'm wearing to not outshine what they're wearing, but also to look professional and sort of balance them a little bit. So today is going to be a blend of possibly, I got two pairs of Aritzia pants, one was black and tapered leg, the other one is like a wide leg, long leg, and I kind of love this for the fall, it's kind of like a nice warm taupe, I suppose you could say, and then paired with two Aritzia bodysuits, so the uh, brown pants will be with this black, and the black pants would be the brown. I'm really not sure what I want to wear, so I'm going to throw them on, and I'm going to get a feel for what I like, and kind of go from there. So bear with me. So this is the first outfit. Um, I do really love these pants. I honestly, I'm not too sure which ones they are. They're super fitted in the waist, tapered on the leg, and then I'll probably throw this little belt on, because it looks super cute. And then a little cardi, because, you know, it always gets a little cooler when you're out in the city. Um, you never quite get the, the sunshine. <laughs> it doesn't quite come through. So this is kind of my first outfit. Um, not sure I'm loving it, to be honest. So I'm going to try the other one on and see how that one is. You know, I think I'm kind of loving this one a lot more. It really works for the fall vibes um, without it being a nuisance and in the way. And then I'm going to have just a little card again for over the top in case I get cool in the city, of course. You, you never quite know with the weather. And you know what? With the winter vibes we have going on right now, it's one degree in the morning. So I'll probably have this my wool coat for overtop so that I'm then a little bit warmer in the in the morning. Because I'm gonna be getting there at 10 a.m. And then I'm gonna throw my little leather booties on because when I'm shooting, there is nothing worse than having open toe shoes, but they look super cute. So they are ideal for wearing downtown. The person I am photographing today, she is a very successful business coach. So I have an idea already as to what it is she wants to capture. We hopped on a call and to be honest, normally I have my phone calls way more in advance, but I just hopped on a call with her today. So we went through everything that she's after, which is really going to help me in the sense of what I'm going to pack for my shoot today, which is going to be a little bit different. And you know what? In a second, as soon as I'm ready, I'm going to take you downstairs to my office. I'm going to show you everything that I'm going to pack for today's shoot because everything's always just a little bit different. Today is going to be unique because we have multiple locations and I can't just haul my big suitcase with me, which is what I normally would do. Um, but again, like my shoot, dictates kind of everything that I'm doing. Normally I love having my hair down and loose and wavy, but it needs to be out of my space. <laughs> so today's look, and I'm going to take you downstairs to my office. We'll go pack all that stuff up and then I will take you on the road with me. Okay. So now I have you down in my office and I have to pack very differently today. Normally I would pack everything into my Pelican case and I would just haul that around with me, but I'm not going to only one location. We are starting off at one of the hotels downtown and we're going to be photographing in their lobby. So I can't just put my stuff down and assume people are going to step over it and it's not going to disappear. Instead of it having little legs, I am going to be hauling around in my backpack 
because that's just, I know that it's all going to be there. And then we're going to be walking through the streets of Vancouver and we're going to be photographing as we cruise down the streets because they want some outdoor shots as well. And then we're going to be going to a studio down over in Gastown, which is about a 15 minute walk. So between the two locations and the in-between, I have to be very mobile, which makes it, I have to be very conscious of what I'm packing. So what I'm going to do today is... I have been shooting a lot with my 2870, which I think a lot of you probably already know from looking at my other videos, but my hand is struggling, to be honest, and I need to give it a bit of a break. So I'm going to go back to some of my other lenses that I absolutely love, and I'm going to probably do primarily most of my photos tomorrow on my 50mm 1.2, which is so amazing for portraits. It kind of compresses the highlights a little bit so you don't get too much of that um, washed out look which I love and then I've also got my 35 mil this is going to be on my harness with me so that I can just dual shoot the whole time and that's why I like a more fitted top when I'm doing this because there's nothing worse than getting your harness and having it all caught up in your clothing or your hair and ah. so we're going to slick that back instead keep it out of the way because I want to focus on my client the entire time uh, besides that, I always take my speaker with me. I am going to have my big Profoto light with me, but that's not going to be until a little bit later when we do the shoot at the studio. So I'm hoping that I can just have that in my carry case and just kind of bring that along too. And of course, I always need my trigger so that I can use it. So I've almost missed out a few times and had me a little worried. <laughs> um, SD cards, as always. Always, I have a plethora of those. I always take this. It's a translucent setting powder. I use this for men and women because there's not like you don't want the highlights on their faces because photoshopping that it's just not worth your time. Just throw a little bit of this powder. It just mats it right down and it will make your editing so much smoother and it will make them look flawless. Uh, I always take a little mount for the top of my camera because it's just you always need it. You always need more video content. Uh, GoPro. I'm not sure if I'll really use this but I'm gonna have it with me just in case in case I do a single shot with just the one camera instead of my harness I'm gonna take my single um, camera strap with me a few other things I'm gonna take with me is I'm doing a lot of real content for them like short form video content as I'm shooting today so I'm going to have my gimbal with me for my iPhone so that I can capture video content at the same time as not actually taking away from the photo content so I think that will be super valuable for them I'm gonna have to get into the bag <laughs> afraid of that um but you know what it's not a big deal this will be kind of my extra bag uh that way then i don't have to worry too much so i'm going to throw my light together i'm going to have my harness because i will be dual shooting i'm going to shoot with both the 50 mil and the 35 mil today primarily my 50 but if i need a wider shot then i want to make sure i have that 35 mil on me so that's something else oh my uh so one thing I'm going to switch up a little bit today, so I'm going to take my gray cards with me. This helps me capture my white balance, but I actually did a workshop on the weekend and it was very interesting talking to some of the photographers and um, the concept of white balance came up and how some of them will actually shoot like a whole wedding day with their white balance set to auto instead of Calvin. And they will also do it for like indoor shoots. So I kind of got my brain rolling a little bit. And because tomorrow I'm going to be in so many different locations, like I'm going to be at a hotel for a little while, then we're going to be outdoors, then we're going to be at a studio. I'm probably going to leave these behind today. And I'm going to try shooting with auto because I'm really curious to see if it's going to level up my, my shooting, the experience and really capturing a more uniform look because there's going to be so many different lighting and um, warm and cool tones throughout the day. So I'll let you know how that is. I'm not too sure how it's going to go yet. But other than that, um, I'm going to give you a quick glimpse here as to what my bag looks like. I should have told you, I actually I take my camera. I have a camera bag, camera leather bag. You know, it is a fantastic bag. I've had it for years <clears throat> and I absolutely love it. One thing I've had to do is I have to bring an extra flash, just a regular flash, not just big light today, because if you can see, um, I've got my big, my flash here and I'm also going to take this magma diffuser because I'm going to be shooting in the hotel. I don't know what the light's going to be, but I have to make sure I have lights on hand. And because we're going to be in a public space, I can't be propping up my stand and all everything that goes with it. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to actually use the big light. I, I'm still really tempted to not even 
bring it, but I, I just kind of have to walk myself mentally through the space and see how I'm going to do. But anyways, as I was showing you, so this is my bag. I've got the 50 mil 1.2, the 35 mil 1.8. These are both on my Canon R6. I've got my pro photo light. It's the A10. Got a couple of GoPros in there. I got my speaker. Um, I got my mag mod, my diffuser. Ooh, yep. My handy dandy little massager from my way home and my big pro photo light, which I'm also going to grab my stand and my Octoblox because they're a wonderful combination. I think that's all I need. <laughs> that's all I need. So I'm going to go load this and haul it into my car. And I might be taking my wagon downtown again today because that seems to be a thing these days. Um, so that I can help my clients take their stuff from the hotel over to the studio. Because I think they're going to have some outfit changes. And I want to be able to capture candidates along the way through downtown. Opposed to them hauling all their stuff. And then we have to somehow stop and put it down. And so I'm going to take my mom wagon. Yep. <laughs> They're excited. So am I. I will take you with me and we'll see how we do. So I've got my car all loaded up and I'm on my way down to Vancouver. And fortunately, traffic is on my side today. We are not stuck in three hours of traffic. So I should be there with a little bit of extra time, which is really nice because I find it can be overwhelming and change my entire mindset. If I get to a shoot and I'm like, I arrive to the parking location and I've got five minutes to haul from the car over to wherever I'm photographing that day. As my mindset is completely mixed up for the entire shoot, I feel like I'm just a little bit of a scramble. So I'm really pumped I'm going to get there with plenty of time today. I'm going to scroll through kind of what we've done in the past. So this client is actually someone that's come to me for the last three years in a row. So I really know what she likes. I have an idea for everything that works for her, all the favorite photos that she's chosen from me in the past. So I know already kind of what she wants to capture, which is really helpful. However, it's going to be a little bit different because we're going to be in a hotel, then we're going to be in the street, and then we're also going to be in a studio. I really have to have a plan in place as to how I'm going to photograph each area, what I want to capture, where I can capture portraits and movement. And I want a huge variety for her gallery. But not only am I photographing her, she has someone that works with her fly out for this. So it's going to be really cool, very different. So I've got to make sure I capture a lot of content for just my client, for the two of them, and also for her coworker. So it's going to be a mishmash of the entire day. So I really am going to take that time when I arrive to just get a clear mindset of what I'm going to capture when. And not knowing the spaces makes it a little trickier. But, um, you know, that's why the Internet's a wonderful friend. I'm going to go get back into traffic now, and I will take you with me as I go. So I get a really nice wide shot to start with, really capture the hotel. The problem is, is it's so dark, it's like incredibly dark. So I'm shooting with my 50 mil. I've got it all the way open at 1.4 and we will just capture what we can. A few different angles, a few details. I'm gonna go in for a little bit closer. Yeah. I want to capture the stairwell. Now this light is horrendous. I wait for that car to pop out. So it is very dark. So it's going to be a lot of post editing right there, especially because there's also a lot of light right on these pillows and these chairs. I'm going to pop over my 35 mil because I want a slightly wider shot here though. Oh yeah. So my ISO is pretty high. Those I'm going to lose them. This. The stairwells just make it look so beautiful and flattering. I'm doing a mix of horizontal and vertical. Because of this space, I'm actually loving this auto white balance right now because this light is pretty offensive. <laughs> yes, walk to me. Beautiful. Look off to the side. No, keep your body to me and then look off to the side. Yes. Yeah. I don't want you like a little sass, a little hand on the hip and then over your shoulder to me. Yes. Beautiful. Woo. Now she's vibing. 
love Dana. Okay, walk for me. Yes. Woo. And then part off for me. Part, part, part. Yes. Woo. Love it. Um, I kind of want you all over here because there's so much reflection off the buildings. I want to get the light from here. Okay. Um, um, I kind of want you on different stairs. That's okay. So do we all put you on a lower one? And you're going to sit almost like to her 45 shoulder on the stair above. Stunning. Yes. Okay, I want to do a couple individual of you guys here. Okay. Yes. And then bend the one closest to me more. No. no. Do the top one. Yeah. There. Like it's all about the angles. Yes. It is. It is. It's ridiculous, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I like that. Beautiful. Yes, look off to the side. Yes. And then look the other direction too. That way. Yes. Oh, there she is. I just finished up in Vancouver and heading back to town. Um, I think the best laid plan is always a lovely concept, but I think with every single photo shoot you do, you always have to bob and weave. So today was one of those bob and weaves because we were in different locations. We started out at the hotel, which was a beautiful hotel, and I'd actually been there before, but it was dark and very warm light. I couldn't put lights on. We didn't want to disrupt other people with using a flash. So we were really restricted on what we could actually shoot there. So. We didn't stick around too long and then we cruised outside. Outside was absolutely beautiful, stunning day. And we, you know, we had lots of shade from the buildings, which is wonderful. And then in the one area, we had lots of reflections from the glass. So their faces were illuminated and it was just flawless. And then we headed over to the studio that they had booked for the rest of the day. And it was, it just, it kept falling flat, these different locations. It just, it wasn't really what we had in mind. So we captured what we could. We got some great content outside and they're really pumped with it. We got a mix of photo and video, which is really cool. Besides that, I really hope you like coming along with me today because this is just, this is a day. This is a day in the life, and now I'm going to go home, and, you know, once I've picked Costco and picked up my kids and <laughs> done the life thing, I'm going to be editing and calling and backing up and, you know, the next part of my process. So I've got my cards in my bag ready to back those up as soon as I get home. If you like this video, I would love if you subscribe and come back next week when I have something more for you and I can't wait to have you here.